For this tutorial, you and all the people you're collaborating with will need the Unity game engine and I highly recommend you're all on the same version of the Unity game engine. And you will also need a GitHub account along with the GitHub desktop app. So the download links to all of those are in the description below. Let's get started. So first, go to github.com, create a new repository, name it whatever you want, I'll call mine Unity Example, and then scroll down to the gitignore section and add the default Unity gitignore file. So you can just search Unity into there and add the gitignore for Unity. For those of you who don't know, the gitignore just exists uh, to make sure that GitHub ignores any of the temporary files that are created by Unity. Anyways, then you can press on create repository. And there, you have your repository on GitHub. This will be your remote repository and it will exist only on github.com. Next, you will have to create a clone of the GitHub repository onto your own computer. To do that, you can go to the GitHub desktop app. And then to file, clone repository, yeah, file, clone repository, and then you can find the repository. So mine is called Unity Example. There it is. Press clone, and before you press clone, uh, make sure to remember the path. This will be where the repository is located. We will need this for the next step. So press clone, and here we have our local repository. Next, you're going to have to actually create the Unity project. So go to the Unity Hub, press on New Project, and then name your project. I'm just going to call mine Unity, exa Unity Example uh, and just keep it as a basic 3D project. And then after that, you're going to need to make sure the project is saved inside the GitHub repository that you just cloned onto your own computer. So here in my case, as you can see, um, mine is saved inside the local clone of my GitHub repository. And then you can just press create project. Now that the project is created, we first have to fix something with the gitignore file before we can proceed. So go to the local clone of the GitHub repository on your computer and go into your project. Now, over here, there's supposed to be a gitignore file. If you can't see it, it's because it's sometimes hidden by the operating system. Now, I'm on Mac, so I have to hit Command, Shift, and then period to make it show. I'm not completely sure, to be honest, if it shows by default on Windows. So if it does not, and anybody knows the keyboard shortcut to make it show, please leave it in the comments below. Anyways, over here, now that I can see my gitignore file, I can drag it into the uh, Unity project. Now our gitignore file will actually work. Now we can make any changes that we want. So I'm just going to add a simple object. I'll, I'll add a cube and I'll call it random cube lol. And of course you can make more changes, but I'm just going to do this for the purpose of this video. And after you make your changes, make sure to save your Make sure to save your Unity project. And then, after you save your project, you can go back into the GitHub desktop app and you'll see all these changed files. So, now first, you have to commit the files. So, since this is the first commit, I'm going to call it initial commit. And if you want, you can provide a description. I'm not going to, but anyways, um, once you're done with that, you can press commit to main and now we can press push origin and basically what this does is that it pushes the changes that we just made into the remote github repository that's hosted by github now if we go back into github and reload the repository page we can see that our new changes have been made and add it to uh, the remote repository on GitHub. To add collaborators, first go to the repository's 
uh, page on GitHub. Then go to settings and then over to collaborators. Then go to add people where you can enter their username, full name or email. So I'm just going to invite my friend. I invite him to the repository and he has to accept the invitation. Any collaborators that you invited to the repository can find their invitation in their email. Then they accept their invitation and they can view the repository and they will also have access to push any commits to the repository and therefore make changes. Then the collaborator can head over to the GitHub desktop app where they can go to file and then clone repository and find the repository that was just shared with them. Again, they have to keep track of the location to which the repository was cloned to. So they press clone. Then they'll have a clone of the repository saved to their local computer. Your collaborators need to open up the Unity Hub and then go to the drop down menu next to open, press on add project from disk. And then they need to go browse to the project. Then they need to browse to the Unity project folder. And if all the previous steps were done correctly, this Unity project folder will be located inside the local repository folder on your collaborator's computer. So they open it up by pressing add project. Once it's in the Unity hub, they can open it up. Now that the Unity project is open, the collaborator may see that the changes that were made by the project's owner are not visible. So to see those changes, the collaborator will have to go into the scene in which they were made. So to do that, go into the scenes folder and select whichever scene. So in this case, it was only the sample scene. And as can be seen right here, the changes are visible. Now collaborators can make any other changes that they would like. So in this case, I'll just add a capsule and call it random capsule lol. Now that these changes have been made, they first need to save the file. And then they can go back into the GitHub desktop app where they can see that these changes have been made. So as can be seen here, files have been changed. Now the collaborator can commit those changes. And after committing the changes, the collaborator can either choose to push them directly to the main branch or they can choose to make another branch and push the changes there. So for anyone that doesn't know, branches as described by GitHub allow you to develop features, fix bugs, or safely experiment with new ideas in a contained area of your repository. So anyways, you can either choose to push to your main branch or uh, create another one. So for the purpose of this video, I'll just be creating a new branch. I'll call it example. Press on create new branch. Press create branch here. These changes have now been uh, put onto another branch and that branch then needs to be published. Now that the branch is published, you can then go to the repositories page on GitHub and then you can see that it shows that there are two branches. And one of these branches is the example branch which was just created and it has the new changes. Now, earlier, if the collaborator chose to commit the changes to a branch other than main, they may later want to put the changes from the other branch into the main branch. To do that, a pull request needs to be created. And that can be done by going to the pull requests tab on the repository page, pressing on new pull request, and then and then on the right side of this arrow, selecting the example branch and making sure the main branch is selected on the left side. 
the changes can be reviewed over here and then the pull request can be created. Over here a comment can be left along with the description and pull request can be created. Next, this pull request can be merged into a main branch by either the collaborator or the repository's owner. In this case, I'll just be showing the pull request being merged by the collaborator, however it can also be done by the repository's owner. So to merge the pull request, all you need to do is press merge pull request and then confirm merge. Once that's done, you can choose to delete the branch if it's no longer needed. So here I will delete the branch and there. Now, if you go back to the code, you can see that the new changes show with the added object commit. Now, from back in the owner's computer, the owner can see the changes that were just created by the collaborator. So to do that, to get those changes onto his local repository, to sync them with the main repository on github.com, the owner, or you in this case, uh, will have to press fetch origin, followed by pull origin when it shows up on the screen. And then you can go back into your project in Unity and you may have to reopen it to see the changes. And when you open the project again, you can see that the changes made by your collaborators can be seen in your project. And there, that's it. That's how to use GitHub with Unity to collaborate on projects. I hope this was helpful and have a nice day.